Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be creating three, three cards using the all spruced up uh, stamp set from Trinity Stamps. This stamp set also has coordinating dies that I will be using in today's video. But to start off I will use a stencil also from uh, Trinity Stamps. This uh, one is uh, uh, a larger stencil that will fit on top of a slimline card panel as you can see here on screen and I will have the products listed down below in this description box if you're interested in knowing exactly what they are called. So you can see here after I used this pink red color I decided to lay my stencil or sorry my stamp over it and see so this uh, covered and uh, the parts that I wanted it to cover and I love that this uh, um, with the blending brushes gives me the result of some parts that is lighter and some parts that is darker and I really think that brings uh, a bit of life to my project. So I'm using a sticky ink here, this is Versa Mark Ink and I am covering my panel with uh, some anti-static uh, powder before I am pressing this down. I am doing this twice just to make sure that I get uh, a good coverage of the ink since uh, I will apply this and it will be hard to um, stamp it again with a good result. So I used some gilded embossing, golded gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe and this is my absolutely favorite ink and I am reaching for it uh, a lot but especially now when it's uh, I'm creating Christmas cards I'm reaching for it even more. So it's a couple of I believe it's called pine cones in English um, I am reaching for a couple of those. There are two sizes in this stamp set and you can see here that I am just inking it up with the same Versa Mark ink and I am pressing it down um, to the inside of my panel here and I will uh, heat set that as well with the same embossing powder and um, you can see that I will cover up a, part, a couple of more parts uh, after I could see a little bit better which parts I had stamped all of this on. So I'm using um, a die also from Trinity Stamps, a slimline die that gives you this fun um, edge and I will have them listed down below as well. So here is just a shoe box that I have that I use to contain my splatters when I am doing this. So I'm using a gold um, I think it's called Heidi Shine or something like that but it's from Heidi Swap. It's a gold color. You can use whatever you have in your stash. If you have some uh, paint or whatever you can use that as well. And I cut my card base down to be eight and a half by three and a quarter and I will use a die cut sentiment that says Merry Christmas. And I use some specialty mirror cardstock from Nuvo when I use that. And you can see the thing I'm picking up my sequence with here is from Make a Forte, and I like that just to make it a little bit easier to adhere my sequence. So here you can see this stamp set. I will just show you this quickly because now I will use um, I will use that in a later product for today. For this uh, next one I will create an A2 sides card and I will just use the Ponceria here and I will do nearly the same thing here. I have a cream colored cardstock from Hero Arts that I am uh, going around the edges with this Ponceria and I had a little bit of a trouble seeing exactly where I had stamped so I didn't end up with um, a good spacing with my colors here you can see that when I'm pouring the embossing powder I'm using one from Wow and this is really beautiful it's um, it's not a champagne color it's more of um, it looks like both silver and gold at the same time and it's glittery so you can imagine how beautiful that is I can link it down below as well but you can see here that I messed up my Ponceria's wasn't spread out the way I wanted it to be so I will show you a trick on how to fix that now I went in just with some coloring to my flowers as well just to bring some interest to it 
and to disguise that I had those mistakes I will take some bubbles these are some silver bubbles from Trinity stamps and I just love that little tray to have my sequins in it's so easy to pour them back into the container but you can see here that I'm going around my image and I am putting my sequins in um, or my bubbles in the places where I had a little bit of a too big gap for me uh, between my flowers and I think that really makes it look like it was intended to be that way. So I used another die cut from Trinity Stamps that said Happy Holidays and I used the same specialty cardstock to create this one. So here you can see how it turned out. And for our third and last project for today, I will start off with a piece of heavy cardstock from Nina. And I will emboss this with some clear embossing powder. And I will actually double stamp this this time just to and double. I will heat set it and then stamp it again and then pour embossing powder over it again just to create a really good coverage because now we will do a resist technique and I'm using ink pads here from Lawn Form and my most beloved uh, blending brushes from Trinity Stamps. I I swear I I am using these every day <laughs> and you can see I have the, have I have had them for a year and you can see how good they are holding um, up and um, uh, the bristles in these brushes are like new and the only thing is that I don't think I could get the colors out of these brushes even if I tried because they are really soaked into the white bristles here but I don't mind because I know every time which um, color I am using that brush with. The only thing is that I don't use these with my uh, Distress Oxides, I only use them for my uh, distress regular Distress inks and my like inks from um, Alt New because that's the ink pads I have in my stash at the moment so that's the only one I am using them with. So I used the coordinating die and cut out the reef here with all the pine um, spru spruits and you can see I'm cutting it apart because I actually funny story I actually had created this video and I had um, I edited the footage and then I looked at this and was like I need to make another card because I have another idea that I want to have in this video and I created a, a card this summer with a die cut piece that I also cut apart from Trinity Stamps I can have it up here in the right corner for you if you want to check that out and I decided to do something similar but this time I stacked them on top of each other and you can see unfortunately I didn't get a whole rainbow when I did this because the green and the purple there was uh, cut away but um, I got the other colors and I really love how this turned out and I just popped one of the layers the upper one up a little bit to create some more dimension and then I had this holiday uh, die and I had already created it but I and I took a gold strip here just to disguise one of the edges there and you can see this is a cream colored cardstock that I'm working on and I love, love the contrast that that brings between the cream colored cardstock and that white cardstock. And I decided to go instead of the black and white that I already had created, I went with a white and gold. And I think that really tied everything together, the white with the white uh, of the card base and the gold with the strip we had there. And I used some gold bubbles just to finish this project off as well. So that was our three projects for today and I hope you really liked it. If you did, I would be super happy, happy if you could consider subscribing to this channel. And we will be back soon with more inspiration. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!